What's up guys in YouTube land? I haven't done a video in quite a bit, so I figured I would show you a cool lick to work on. Um, just a cool chop, uh, and it's tasteful. It's, it kind of keeps the groove going, you would say. It's kind of like a six stroke roll, but you're using your foot as a part of your hands. Uh, so I'll show you, and I'll break it down, and then I'll show you how you can incorporate it into fills and, and to the groove. So basically, it's kind of like a paradiddle diddle, um, but what you're doing is you're not diddling with your left, or I'm sorry, with your right. It, so it sounds like this. So you're going to hit your rack with your right. For you lefties, reverse it. Uh, right on the rack, snare with your left, snare with your right, snare, snare, followed by a kick. Sounds like this. Now the paradiddle would be but it's not that you're taking away the par uh the diddle on the on the uh, right hand and you're kind of putting a kick in between it. Now what our goal is is trying to loop this. It's kind of got a weird feel to it cuz it's got a 6 Once you get good with that, then try to explore and move it around on each rack tom and floor tom. <laughs> then you can add it to the hi-hat, which has kind of got a cool groove. So you can go, um, again, this is your way of imagining it. If you imagine it, you could probably play it. And so when I came up with this idea, <clears throat> it's not like I came up with it, but all these different combinations, I'm trying to figure out what would work for me, my sound. You can go, um, Uh, you could do it this way. Um. Okay, you can also flam it. Do like a Swiss Army. Okay, so adding it to a groove, um, also you can do it with the cymbals before we go to the groove. You can go cymbal, snare, 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 kick. Also doing in crossovers. So now you're going to add it to a groove and you're going to find different ways that are working and ways that aren't working. Uh, so I'm just going to try to like troubleshoot and figure out what works and probably scream at myself if I mess up. So that's the goal is just to try to find all these different uh, puzzle pieces and what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Um, 
Again, there's no wrong or right way. It's just what you're hearing and what you're imagining. That's why we're here shedding it and practicing it. Practice it slow and then speed it up. Um, so I'll just play that same stroke all around the kit just to show you all the different combinations. So until next time, check that out, and then I'm going to try to do some more clips of doing some shed licks. All right, peace.